I hope the Cougars can put up at least a good fight for, for them uh, in this game. But uh, we'll have to see if we can take it to Game 7 again, just like that first series, or if we'll uh, get some one-goal game action all the way through like we did at our 8 o'clock series, or if we're going to get something completely different. Well, who knows? It's Rocket League after all. And we'll get right to things in just a couple of minutes once everybody uh, is on the field and ready to go. It looks like we are. We are. Both teams have started joining. We are ready to go on the field. Kickoff countdown imminent. And just waiting on it now. Here we go. Game one, A League semifinals. Stallions, Cougars, the ball is moving it's first into the cougars end here a shot by short is just off the mark but it is into the corner squintle trying to get something to go can't quite do it right away nova with a good power shot there shot coming on a good block again trying to get it centered curly can't get anything to go on that attempt but back the other way the stallions will come here squintle gets it by one but nova is there on the back end this one will be out to michaels can't quite get anything to go on that attempt nova is able to get it out biscuit with an attempt curly able to power it out just as far as short though as it's brought right back oh, I in love that idea attempt off the bar and out for michael Bert and that will not go in but a very close chance here early for the stallions stallions with an incredible amount of pressure early in this game one um that's what three four shots almost in a row that sh maybe should have found the back of the net one of them possibly should have gone in here short trying to get a, a shot to the middle can't quite do it as of yet Curly waiting for the retaliation. A good block sends it up, looking for a pass, but Short is there to intercept. He puts it down. Dangerous ball. Nova gets there first, but there is a second man on that one. And oh, crossbar save from Short. What a play there. As Michael will have another chance here for the Stallions, but that defensive play, my goodness, what a save. Absolutely huge. I mean, and Short, he is in the league leading categories in all three goals assists and saves in the a division he's number two in goals number two in assists and number three in saves so him coming up big early not a surprise definitely a big player in this uh this stallions roster and we'll look for him to uh to get some momentum going their way early no in this horse and around as he'll take a as if on command i swear to god that was not in the script but short <laughs> we'll get the first goal here on a transition opportunity yeah he almost comes up short on this shot biscuit is able to get a touch but not quite enough and uh early goal for the stallions oh the puns <laughs> we're, we're back at it again with those here in uh in the a league as Nova will try and corral it here, a good block, but uh, just as far as what seemed to be, uh, I think Squintle there on the clear short with the shot on again. This one will be bar and out just barely. This one over the top and a great save by Nova, but a double commit by Curly on a frantically defending Cougar side lets in a second one here. Yeah, it almost seemed inevitable at that point. I mean, the Stallions are all over the field, all over the Cougars' half, not letting them get boost, not letting them get the ball. And so, you know, the third goal almost seems like a matter of time as well, the way this has been going. We'll have to see a little bit of a mistouch there from Biscuit, and a shot comes across from Squintle, but it can't be put in here early. Uh, Biscuit looking for a clear. Curly. I'm trying to get one back to I think that was Nova but no shot will come out of it short here trying to get it out this one will hit the ceiling here Nova trying to get a center off here good play from Biscuit Ooh, miss touch there though he'll be able to corral it Squintle beats him to that ball though Michael is up he gets the touch Ooh, can't quite get a shot on though 
This one is centered here. Squintle, a early read trying to come in from, I believe, Biscuit here. Nova trying to get a save. Michael taps it back to Squintle. A good passing play. This one is still in the corner, though, after a good 50. Nova trying to get a clear. Can't do it. This one is by the goalie and short. Gets his second or third of the game, actually. Yeah, Nova unfortunately plays it too much off the side and not enough off the corner. Biscuit caught flat-footed on the near post and short, able to pick apart the far post for a relatively easy goal. 3-0 lead so far, uh, kind of what we expected based on that stat line, a 3-0 game in terms of uh, the offensive pressure here for the Stallions is seemingly overwhelming so far. And when the, the defense is there, it's never a problem uh, as of right now. A good chance from Nova here. This one is sent out and across to Curly. Center ball oh, looking. Biscuit can't connect. Though. Everything that was right about that play from the Cougars except for the final touch. If they can get that possession, they'll be in good shape, but uh, gotta gotta get back on defense. Defensive misplay from the Cougars here. Just everybody coming in kind of front post rotation and nobody had the uh, angle to be able to save that. And absolutely sure. no momentum here for the Cougars. And they're going to need to step it up in this last 52 seconds if they're gonna have a shot at winning game two. Yeah, yeah, I think so. They're going to have to get something going, and hey, there you go. Respond quickly. Nova to Biscuit. Easy, simple play, but it works. Nice. Had it on cue, huh? On cue, yeah, exactly. I'm uh, able to respond. Short has the hat trick, but Cougars have the most recent goal. Maybe they can get something going here. Who knows? I've seen crazier things. <laughs> For their sake, hopefully. Uh, another one will come off the backboard here. But, Good opportunity uh, there. I'd like to think that that goal could be a, a good little bit of momentum for the Cougars saying, hey, we outplayed them in that last 50 seconds. Another pass coming in here, a little biscuit with a good shot off a great pass from Nova, but uh, he can't quite connect uh, the back of the net to that ball. And uh, Michael will be able to at least get a clear attempt here, but it's off to biscuit. Nova trying to keep uh, control of it here. Can't quite do it. This one almost over Curly. Biscuit sends it into the corner. One more goal here for the Cougars, and I'd say that they have some pretty decent momentum going into game two. I'd say so. You know, we'll see who scores first in game two, but there is no denying the dominance of the Stallions here in game number one. Definitely through those first four minutes, they had a lot of the possession and a lot of play in that offensive end. Uh, short with three goals and three saves on six shots and three assists coming in from Squintle too. Some good team play there. Short had the same amount of shots as the entire Cougars team in that game. <laughs> the Stallion squad out shooting the Cougars 13 to six. Definitely something that's going to need to change if the Cougars can pick up their pace here. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe the key is to key on short. I mean, he has been the centerpiece, the focal point of their offense all season long. Um, I mean, you can't really play man defense in Rocket League, but you can be aware when a team has a has a star scorer like that. Um, who knows, though? I think we did see some good flashes from the Cougars of, of some good team play there in the last minute. You can't play man defense, but you can play physical defense and physical offense on the other end. Maybe some of that could be useful for the Cougars in this game. We'll see if it that is in their repertoire or just smothering offense is. One of the two might come out here from them. A good pass to the mid, but it's intercepted nicely by Nova. Short sends it off. Can't quite connect a, uh, a teammate to that one. Squintle with the shot just over the bar here, but it's left for Michael, who can't quite get there. Biscuit looking to keep some possession. Wins that 50. Gets the bump on short. There's that physical play that I was mentioning. Biscuit, sorry, Curly can't get on that, but the clear is in the back of the net, unfortunately enough for the Cougars. Yeah, two guys get caught in the corner and it just uh, just kind of leaks out over the middle. Michael sees it, smartly picks his head up, finds the open net, makes no mistake downfield. And, uh, kind of picking up where we left off. 46 seconds, again, all it took 
here for the Stallions to get back into this one will be a backboard read from Michael and uh, possibly a clear here for the Stallions, but it's a good possession keeping touch. A great save by Michael coming off that backboard, making an awkward save, but doing it nonetheless. Squintle trying to center it here. Nobody really on that short trying to get a touch, but he will not be able to here. Michael sending it out mid here curly with the interception but it's kind of a pass to Michael this one will be possession stallions and biscuit sends it out for the time being but possession is back in the Cougars end for now yeah for now Michael not content to let that happen or content to let it happen plays it off the corner nice idea. Good attempt there from the Stallions. Uh, Michael trying to get that uh, air dribble shot here. A hard clear off the backboard. It looks like uh, two Stallions trying to get that read. Biscuit with no boost can't get the uh, backboard read. This one is back into the Cougars corner. A, a clear attempt is thwarted by Squintle. Pass down to Michael. The shot is just a little bit high, but short there for cleanup duties. Oh. Put it off the bar. This one is saved by Curly. Ooh, awkward save. Yeah, stuck in front of your own net, able to get it away. At least for now, though, the uh, the Stallion's still holding on to the ball. Oh, a pinch. Ooh, that almost went in. Short with the quick thinking on defense there. Curly trying to get a mid. Can't quite do anything, but it's a 2 on 0 for the Stallions, and Squintle makes no mistake. Nope, no mistake at all there. The Cougars, again, overextend on offense. Third guy comes up, putting in an unfortunate spot, but good call play there from short to Squintle, take advantage of the open net. Half this game gone, a 2-0 lead here for the Stallions. Uh, whomping so far in very similar shades to the last game. We'll have to see how this one plays out. Squintle tries to get a clear on it, but kind of whiffs a little bit, but not too bad here as it can be taken as a pass to Michael, who plays it nicely. And they do still have possession. A shot short decides to get off it. Two on one the other way. Curly with an unfortunate 50 against Michael. Short with possession, trying to get set up a flick play, but he'll put it just wide, going for a bump instead. Squintle recenter. Biscuit is there for the clear, though. Curly able to take it out for the time being, give a little bit of rest to the Cougars defense, who has had to be on the whole game practically so far. Yeah, and they're doing a fine job on defense, but they're not able to break out on offense. And I mean, two goals allowed so far isn't that bad, but eventually. Three. Eventually, we see the defense break down right there. Not too fantastic play. A little bit of a double commit there from the Cougars leads to that goal. But after that much time in the defensive end, you're going to you're going to make mistakes. Just get tired out. And I think the Stallions are really doing that to a T here in game two. A 3-0 lead pass up to Ooh, Biscuit almost sends that one top corner that's going to be something that they're going to need to do cleared out by short here and short makes no mistake again for nothing very similar to the last game yeah that's his first goal of the game but he has been all over the field on these counter attacks and uh puts away the easy one again unfortunately we're in that situation where the cougars are looking for momentum going into the next game because this one seems a little bit out of their reach they did seem to have a lot of momentum in that last 30. Ooh, short. That was a uh, cheeky level play. Ooh. Body. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Free flip, gang. I like it. All right. Okay. Style. I see you. <laughs> nice play from short. Puts it a fifth. And, uh, yeah, that 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 is going to take all of the air out of the, uh, the Cougars' tires for this game. And... and maybe a little demoralizing there but short just uh doing what he wants at this point biscuit trying to get a 50 goal but the offensive pressure is just not there this game at all for cougars it seemed like last game even was better for the offensive side of the ball than this one and uh not really picking up the pace rather uh on offense slowing it down yeah, if, you're right. If their chances were few and far between in game one, they're almost non-existent here in game number two. Uh, I would say commit more people up for offense, but that's when the Stallions have been scoring. Um, 
don't know. Maybe they need to really start keying on short. He's been still the focal point of a lot of their attack, but hey, game three's a new one. It'll start 0-0, zero, zero, and they'll have every chance to bring this series back. Got to get that mental reset here in play for the next couple of games. Uh, last series wasn't as dominant at all uh, by one team as this, but we did see the Wildcats come out and take the first two games, but then lose the next two to the Scorpions. And uh, it, they did win it in four, but hopefully we can see some kind of resurgence in game three here from the Cougars. Yeah, hopefully, you know, because they're a good team. We want to see them oh. represent well as Michael garbage time, but highlight real level goal. Definitely a great read and just slots it in the corner too. Almost a save, but beautiful shot at the buzzer and the Stallions get a six nothing win here in game two seemingly doing what they want on offense yeah yeah i think that's that's about it there cubics it's 14 shots to three um just all over the place two goals apiece they don't even need to focus on any one particular person because all three are just connecting so well together um let's see what happens in game three though it's a new game cougars were a solid team they Finished the regular season 12 and 6, including a 4 1 win in the wildcard round over the Ravens. So, this is a team that knows how to win. Let's see if they can put it together. Definitely. One of the more interesting things to me in that last game with the regards to the defense for the Cougars, there were more shots that just missed the net for the Stallions than saves for the Cougars. Uh, that tally being 5 to 3. And uh, we'll see if they can pick up the defense, but it seems like the shot quality has really been there from the Stallions this far. Oh, absolutely. They're they're And honestly, they don't even have to be that picky because they're just taking advantage of these counterattacks where they are two and three on one. And uh, they can just pass nicely. Almost got one right there to their to their outlet player. Oh, Ooh. the first goal. That is a little bit surprising, but very good for momentum here. Curly hits good. the angle right inside the post. Yeah, nice job, short, unable to. Oh, wait, no, I've been waiting to say this. He came up short on the save. Oh, you even corrected yourself. Yeah, that's the worst. I had the opportunity to say that before. Ooh, a great save from Biscuit, too. Being able to play on both ends right now as the Cougars. They'll get the clear, but Squintle makes an easy corner touch. Biscuit trying to get a center off here. Whoa, counter attack him and in here. Short looking for a pass across. A good block for now in a very crucial demo from Biscuit. Seems to be all over the defensive end right now for the Cougars. Biscuit with another good touch out. Curly has an opportunity. Biscuit with the backflip pass. Off to Curly. Gets the shot just wide. Would have been very nice. Biscuit able to put it in, showing he can play on both sides. And for the first time in this series, the Cougars get more than one goal. And most importantly, it's within the first minute and a half of this game. Absolutely huge, considering that they got, you know, blown into oblivion in game number two. Coming out with two big goals on possession plays. They're, I would argue they're even dominating this game too so far. A lot of possession going their way, looking for a third. My goodness, how many shots do these guys have? Because it must be more than Five. their last game for sure at this oh. point already. Oh, yeah, for sure. And even if it's not, they uh, it's it's higher quality. You know, they're holding on to the ball. They're finding each other up the field. They're doing everything the Stallions did in the first two games. A lot more good passing. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. Nova, you are insane. What a give what and go. What is this shot? Nova, the biscuit, back to Nova, the lightest touch in the world. No way you can defend that. See, now I'm glad I get to commentate over my GM for my indie league, getting a highlight reel goal right there. You're making me proud, bud. Nice shot there from Nova, gives a 3-0 lead to the Cougars, not something I thought I would be saying this series. Absolutely But not. they... How about four? Yeah. Within the first hey, yeah. two minutes. What is happening? Yeah. Curly just shut me up. All right. Uh, so Cougars with all of the momentum right now. They're playing like the Stallions did last game, except they're doing it better. 
Uh, not something I thought I would say either, but they are just straight up outplaying the Stallions right now. Absolutely. It's great to see. You know, this is the conference championship. The winner gets to go play for the RLPC championship, and it's uh, it's good to see some life in this team here. You know, this is, you don't get to play deep into the playoffs too many times, you know, when you're, when you're playing any type of uh, sport. So good to see them taking advantage of the opportunity. Good back pass here, keeping possession. That seems to be something that they're really doing, and uh, that quality check on their shots as well for the Cougars has been insane. Ooh, a shot coming in, and a great save from Nova. They have been playing very well on both sides of the ball in this game as well. That's the second big save that the Cougars have had as well. Well, they've been able to keep the offensive pressure without putting, like, three people in the corner, which has burned them so many times in game two. You know, they're actually, they're rotating well and they're rotating together. And it's, you see a big difference. Curly looking for Nova. He gets a touch off the backboard. Shot coming in, but it's not there. And it'll be for the Stallions. There's life. Off the backboard, not quite enough to get the clear. Squintle with a nice 50 right to Michael, who's streaking down the field. Nova had to make that touch. No fault of his on that one. And uh, hey, you know what? We've seen the Stallions score this many goals in two minutes. You know, three is not out of the question. Hey, we've seen the Cougars score this many goals in two minutes. So True. if the Cougars can do it, the Stallions can at this point as well. Uh, as would go for really any sports game. Uh, one of the rules of thumb that my dad always taught me about sports is, uh, hey, if they can do it in the first half, you can do it in the second. So we could see that come out here from the Stallions. I'd be very surprised if they took this game three, but it's in the realm of possibility still. Oh, no doubt about it. They're very talented, and you can already see them pressing the attack right now. And you know what? The Cougars know how good the Stallions are on offense, but they're holding up so far. They just need to kill time at this point. It really is good to see the, the Cougars be a lot more competitive in this game three than they were in that game two. And uh, it's good to see competitive Rocket League any way you can put it, especially in the playoffs. When you're playing for your playoff lives, but I mean, a double commit is not necessarily how you do that. Nova playing very smart on that play, able to get it out, but only as far as Michael there. A touch off the backboard, almost a scoring chance here. Squintle is demoed and the possession will go to the Cougars. Absolutely, yeah. And, uh... Great play all around from the Cougars. You know, they really, this is huge, getting them back into the series. They might get a fifth. Not there, but it doesn't matter because they're still killing time. Um, but, yeah, now's probably about as good a time as any to plug the league, right? You know, RLPC is fully open. If you're watching this and want to play, want to be involved in something like this, play on stream, join the Discord. It's a lot of fun. Hell, yeah, both of us are, uh, are, are players as well in the league, and, uh, I know from my experiences, I've been uh, very much enjoying it and uh, had some uh, good teammates over the past couple of seasons. A pass across and, oh, you were almost right about the fifth. Curly puts it off the crossbar, but a lot of momentum going the way of the Cougars. What we want to see from them going into this game four. Can they win it? Yeah, why not? I mean, I think they just showed they can. Whether they can put together three more games like that against the Stallions is might be a different question, but don't forget, the Cougars and the Stallions played twice during the regular season. The Stallions won all six games. They swept 3-0 both times. The Cougars have finally shown themselves that they can beat this team, even if it's just for five minutes. That has to give them a lot of confidence heading into game number four. Definitely, especially being able to take a, a game off a team that you weren't able to take even a game off of in six games before you take one off them in three here. Uh, big confidence booster, definitely playing a lot better. They had as more shots in this game than they have had the rest of the series. So definitely a big up, keeping the Stallions to only four shots as well, and them only converting on one is, is a lot better for their track record as well. And we'll have to see if they can come out and be that dominant force again here in game four. Yeah, for sure. We'll see if the Stallions can get back in the saddle as we start this game number four. Kickoff will go the way of seemingly the Stallions here to start off. Uh, some good possession, but a lot of midfield play. Biscuit with a huge play, almost getting the double tap off the crossbar. 
would have been a very nice play if he is able to convert. Squintle centering it here. A good play by Biscuit to keep it out. Curly taking it away from him for the time being. Looking for a bump. He gets it on Michael. A shot coming in from Nova. Near post. Squintle with the huge save. Nova centering it back here. Curly hits it off the post. And they can't convert here. Curly. Curly, you're right. Just a little off in that early shot. But he's got another chance here. Lots of boost and lots of space. I'm not sure the Stallions are picking this one up. Let's see what they can do short put in a very awkward situation. Three on one almost there, but no shot came out of it. Biscuit trying to get something going here for the Cougars. Pass is back to him. Curly tries to get a shot intercepted very well by Michael. And this one is back into the Cougars end. Block almost coming out from Nova. Swintle trying to keep it back pass here to Michael. This one will be off the backboard short looking for the read. He gets it. It will dribble in, and the Stallions will start first. They will. Nova, no fault of his own. He was expecting a much harder play there from short, but he takes the pass from Michael and just plays it nicely near post, off the ground. No chance there for the defender. A very smart offensive choice from short there uh, to be able to recognize Nova's thought process and then slow it down and uh, send a curveball right at the top corner which he did and uh, the momentum here back with the stallion so far biscuit trying to get a clear he will some possession possibly here for the cougars taken by squintle right up the middle here short off the wall trying to get a shot squintle going for the bump demo can't Good get idea. it nova with the clear in the corner is Curly. He's trying to get the clear out. Can't quite do it. Biscuit off. Shot on short with the save. Nova with the rebound. Three minutes left in this one, but Nova makes no mistake with the shot and is able to get it by short. Absolutely. Nova was reading that the whole way. He saw short was a little awkward in front of his own net. Reads that he's going to play it across his own net. Makes no mistake. Nice, uh, nice uh, positioning there from Nova to get himself an easy goal. Big goal here, too, for the Cougars. A, a great momentum shift, and we'll see if they can take this game, too. That would be huge for, for their confidence, and uh, by the sounds of it, what seems to be their Achilles heel in terms of teams this season for the, the Stallions. Two 3 0 series is uh, coming to a close in the regular season, as now what could be a 2 2 series here in the playoffs uh making a big difference to their confidence so far but as i say that there is still half the game left and a lot of time to play and not expecting with the huge flick yeah i was not expecting that one to find the back of the net the squintle is just given too much space from the midfield the uh, the cougars sitting a little bit too far back in their net but squintle takes advantage puts a top post i think top that was shelf. just in the top just in the corner. a <laughs> a very, a, very uh, a nice placement there, and I think the surprise factor of that one is what really did it, because on the replay, it looked like the Cougars actually had pretty decent positioning uh, in net there, but just unable to get to it because of uh, great placement and the surprise tactics coming in out of nowhere, and uh, two minutes now left for the Cougars to tie this game up and we'll see if they can take it to a game six right away or if it'll have to wait a little bit or if we'll even get there. Curly with a good clear though, but only as far as Michael Short going for the pop up, loses that 50. Curly and oh, Biscuit almost getting the, uh, the squeeze and all important demo on Nova from Short will force the ball out of there and Curly looking for a 50, but no touch comes in from Michael. Short tries to get the center, can't quite do it. Squintle able to keep possession though. A good fire from Biscuit. A good read from Michael though, but the possession is back in the Cougars end right where they need it right now. Yeah, absolutely, and they are just a completely different team from what we saw in the first couple games of this series. Dominating, maybe not dominating, but they're holding on to the ball well and giving themselves a shot. At the end of the day though, they still need one more, possibly two if this one goes in. 
Ooh, that would have been a very nice redirect. Still a chance. Curly able to get it out of danger for now, though. Squintle with the shot on, looking for a 50. Michael trying to get it. Double commit from the Cougars. Frantic on defense right now. Short trying to center it, but he can't do it. And the conflict is clear will come out from the Cougars. Nova trying to keep it out of harm's way for now. A missed touch there. Biscuit able to get the favorable 50. Give a little bit more space here. Even more space coming on with that shot. That one is just a little bit high. Biscuit with the rebound and the tying shot. It is 2-2 and the Cougars finally playing up to the Stallions very nicely in both these last two games. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no. We had a, someone disconnect from the game, so that is super unfortunate for the Stout. Oh, no, that's not good. Hate to see it like that, hopefully. Squintle oh. is back. Squintle's back. We're back to 3v3, golden goal time. Hopefully that doesn't affect the mindset here of the Stallions, because having something unfortunate like that happen can really mess with you. And uh, hopefully that doesn't... Uh, uh, hinder them too much here in the dying seconds of this game all important game for really if the cougars win this the momentum is with them and they've played very well against a team that has had their number in the regular season and we could see them even take this one if uh if they can continue to play like that no doubt about it the, uh, the stallions though not content to do any of that they're going to put it right on net immediately lots of pressure early in this overtime Short looking for a pass with a almost double commit e pipe play coming out from the Cougars, but uh, nothing oh, no. too major. But Nova left stranded in that he makes the initial save and is able to get it into the corner very nicely. And no additional pressure coming on from the Stallions uh, right there. But we'll see them try and get the ball back. They don't. This one is a possible shot opportunity off the backboard another shot opportunity good blocks coming in from the cougars giving some more space for the shot but nothing coming on net right there not yet but they're they're knocking on the door definitely a lot of offensive pressure not something we're really used to seeing from the cougars here maybe some coming back the other way a great block by michael this one could be centered it is not though over nova off the ceiling tries to get it can't quite get a clear on it but will now some open space for biscuit he tries to juke squintle he can't quite get past him but nova is there to boom it right back into there and a lot of midfield booms coming out from both teams so far here in uh, this second minute of overtime this one's centered by michael but can't connect on it is i believe short Oh, almost. Oh, and the triple commit from the Cougars. That could be detrimental if this one can be centered. Biscuit can't get a, a touch on it, but Nova Not is there to bail them up. out. Short oh, almost had it. That was... Ooh, my heart was going on that one. That was a very close opportunity. Short looking for the center. Good pass to Michael. This one's still dangerous. Out of harm's way. Cleared by Biscuit. Oh, we're in another long overtime here. Almost two and a half minutes in, playing an entire another half game of Rocket League so far. Biscuit just misses, but it's off the mark. Michael had a fantastic opportunity. Bar down. Quite get it barred down again. Another good 50 from Biscuit and the offense from the Stallions finally coming out and finding their stride here. Curly with the shot just wide, but it's a pass. Can't connect is uh, the Cougars. This one's off the ceiling. A good pass into short. A loopy shot, can't go in. <laughs> Michael puts it in danger zone, but can't get it there. Squintle with an unfortunate pinch back to his own end, relieves the pressure for now as we hit the three minute mark. Yeah, now it's uh, getting into, well, I guess it's not the late part of overtime, but we're starting to get into the lengthier part of overtime. Now both teams starting to feel it a little bit. I mean, Rocket League isn't physically exhausting, but you know, you start to feel a little bit slower when you get to the three, four, five minute overtimes. You know, who's who's gonna be willing to risk that third player on offense to try to break down these defenses? Oh, a missed touch from the backboard and an all important three minute, 30 second overtime. 
sends the momentum the way of the Stallions. They take a 3-1 series lead here into game five. Yeah, I think Curly was expecting that to roll a lot more than it bounced and uh, just falls right for uh, right for the Stallions. They make no mistake. Got to give them some credit for that, but it's about as even as you get. Both teams had 11 shots separated by one goal overall. Um, could be anyone's game, but obviously the Stallions are in the driver's seat. They are in triple match point here to send themselves to the championship. One thing that the Stallions could work on, because they're they're not getting that war of attrition now. They're not just completely out shooting the Cougars. And I think what really hurt them is in that game is they only forced the Cougars to make four saves on the entirety of those 11 shots, only putting three in as well, leaving four shots that just missed the net, uh, three of which I think we saw in that overtime period as well. So something that they could look to work on here in uh, game five to close this one out pretty yeah. handily. I mean, th those were the games they were dominating with ones with every single shot essentially on target. So if they can continue that, then uh, series will probably be over here in game number five. But uh, Cougars, every chance in the world to work back into this. Cougars forcing a lot more saves out of the... Uh, the Stallions as well, only missing one of those 11 shots. Eight saves needing to be made by the Stallions to ensure that win, but we've seen that the Stallions are just that good. A dangerous backboard touch will go oh. in at our favorite number, 420, and Squintle with the Game 5 opener. Yeah, how about that? He just puts himself into the, into the play and gets a fortunate bounce, but you know what? He created the play and he got rewarded for it. Good transition maneuver from the Stallions to get on the board early. Something that they uh, don't necessarily... Oh, well, that's two. Yeah. And uh, unfortunate push from the uh, the Cougars here. A great passing play, actually. Squintle to Michael, back to Squintle. And a fantastic passing play for the three of them. Gives them that 2-0 lead here in the first minute. Maybe a little bit disheartening here for the Cougars, but we'll see if they can pick their pace back back up to what they had last game for sure and you know what I, I love the aggressiveness from the cougars but at the end of the day uh you can't have two like that in the midfield they got punished for it. what a save and uh, another punishment here coming in from squintle but a fantastic save on the other end by squintle and he's able to counteract really nicely there and put in that third goal in just 63 seconds here not looking fantastic for the Cougars early. Yeah, Squintle really just taking the reins on this game for the Stallions. And, uh, you know, I mean, all the time in the world, we've seen the Cougars score multiple goals quickly, but something's got to change soon or else the Stallions are soon going to be up 5, 6, 7, 7, 0. Not what the Cougars would want to see on the scoreboard for sure there. Uh, not looking to get Brazil in their very last game of the uh, RLPC season here. But uh, Curly trying to get a clear. It ends up being a center. Michael tries to get it, but can't quite do it here. Squintle looking to get a pinch center. He does short up off the backboard. A good repass, but nobody can get onto it. A case of one too many passes for the Stallions, and they're not able to get any quality out of that chance. Curly trying to make something happen. Can't quite do it. This one is over, Nova. Two minutes down, four goals in. The Cougars are feeling down on themselves right now. Yeah, it's over, Nova, and it might be over for the Cougars this season. 4-0 lead. Still have three minutes left. You know, they can do it, but it's got to happen pretty much right now because you're not going to score four in like the final minute. Seems like the Cougars really not having that same offensive pressure that we saw the last couple of games. They felt like they had it that overtime. It's what put the nail in the coffin so far here. Squintle trying to make something happen here. Tries to center it. Can't get it though. Michael trying to do the same. Biscuit back the other way. Maybe a little momentum, especially with a couple of demos. Nova has to get it past one. 
in camp with the shot here. This one's popped up into the middle. Curly is going to be beat on that one. Nova with the possession, though. Short from behind, almost breaks that play up. Solo off the bar from Piske. Would have needed that one for the momentum. Yep. Would have been nice to have a what great a hit from Squint. Oh, my goodness. How about that flick? The mechanics coming in. And the simple shot coming in from short, putting it short side to give ah, the five goal lead. See, I can do, I can do that. Yeah, too. yeah I like it. Oh, well, you know what? After that insane flick forward from Squintle, just you're right. Very simple shot near post, and um, Stallion's just pouring it on at this point. Uh, yeah, even, I mean, even more pressure than we saw in that second game. They won 6-0, and it's feeling uh, a lot just, like the first couple games rather than games three and four. Yeah, it feels like we're seeing that team that beat the Cougars 3-0 and 3-0 in the regular season here and back to what we could call their prime form for the Stallions and not something that the Cougars uh, are really adept to deal with at this point and uh, have to see if they can make this comeback, get a goal for the road or uh, what they can do for the rest of this series. A minute well, 20 left in this one. Well, whoever ends up winning this series, whoever it might be, you never know. Championship matches at 6 p.m. on Sunday, this Sunday the 31st. So uh, be sure to check that out because whoever it is, maybe the Stallions, should come out with some good rocket. Most certainly, especially for a, a, a finals matchup. Seeing a high-octane, high-scoring team like this, uh, definitely going to be a fun game to see play out uh, on Sunday. This one only cleared as far as Nova, and we'll see if uh, the Cougars here can get one for the road. It, it looks very unlikely at this point. Average of, what, nearly seven seconds uh, per goal at this point. Uh, it seems like the Cougars season is over. Almost a six coming in from Michael Nova, able to clear it out to Squintle though, able to get the shot off short, looking for an air dribble. He gets it, top shelf. And we're right back <laughs> to game two, six, nothing. We are, no, uh, but we gotta give a lot of credit to the Cougars. They have had an excellent season so far, doing real well um, throughout uh, this season 13. Um, big wild card win round and uh they were finally able to get one off the stallions but it was just not enough stallions just too dominant through all phases of the game here tonight games three and four definitely some very good rock league from both teams but uh two and five not going the way that the cougars wanted and stallions are finals bound 4-1 win over the Cougars, and you mentioned a 4-1 win also over the Ravens. Looking good for Championship Sunday. But with that, we thank you for tuning in to the RLPC broadcast. This evening, we'll be back this weekend with all the finals matchups from all the leagues and some more high-paced Rocket League action. But with that, I'm Cubix here with Ty, and we will sign out for RLPC. Good night, everybody.